Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Lots of questions that needs answers. Why was Maxwell Chikumbutso invention ignored by Western media, denied of patent, refused to be endorsed by Western scientific community? If his invention defy 300 years of physics and thermodynamics, does eliminating the Africa inventor fix it, or the Western world are protecting their interests of trillion dollar gas and oil investments? Today we're diving deep into a story that sounds like it's straight out of science fiction, but I assure you it's as real as the laws of physics. We're talking about Maxwell Chikumbutso, an inventor from Zimbabwe who claims to have developed technology that could rewrite our understanding of energy. Self-powering generators, electric vehicles that never need charging. It sounds like the stuff of dreams, right? But what if it's not? Join me as we unravel the mysteries surrounding Maxwell Chikumbutso, a man who might just hold the key to a future powered by limitless clean energy. Maxwell Chikumbutso's inventions sound like something ripped from the pages of a science fiction novel. Imagine a world where your electronics run indefinitely without ever needing to be plugged in, powered by a mysterious, self-sustaining energy source. That's the future Chikumbutso claims to have unlocked. At the heart of his inventions lies a technology that seemingly defies the fundamental laws of physics, particularly the laws of thermodynamics. These laws, established over centuries of scientific inquiry, dictate that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. Chikumbutso's technology, however, suggests otherwise. His devices, he claims, can generate their own energy, seemingly pulling it from the ether without any external fuel source. This audacious claim has unsurprisingly been met with skepticism from the scientific community. Is this skepticism justified? A healthy dose of scientific rigor? Or is there something more at play here? Could it be that Chikumbutso's technology, by threatening to upend established scientific paradigms and trillion dollar industries, has triggered a systematic effort to discredit and suppress it? These are just some of the questions we'll be exploring in this video. So buckle up because things are about to get really interesting. The road to technological innovation is paved with patents. For Maxwell Chikumbutso, however, the path to patent recognition has been fraught with obstacles. Chikumbutso has repeatedly sought patents for his groundbreaking inventions, only to be met with rejection after rejection. Patent offices, tasked with upholding the integrity of scientific principles, have cited a fundamental reason for their denials. Chikumbutso's technology, they argue, lacks scientific plausibility. The laws of thermodynamics are considered foundational to our understanding of energy. Chikumbutso's claims of creating self-powering devices directly challenge these laws, leading patent examiners to conclude that his inventions simply cannot function as he describes. Could it be that Chikumbutso's technology, with its potential to disrupt multi-trillion dollar industries, has made him a target for suppression? Is it possible that powerful entities threatened by the prospect of a world freed from dependence on fossil fuels and centralized power grids are working behind the scenes to ensure his inventions never see the light of day? If powerful forces perceive a threat to their dominance, they might leverage their influence to manipulate the system, ensuring that disruptive technologies like Chikumbutso's are stifled before they can gain a foothold. The scientific community thrives on validation. Peer review, rigorous testing and open collaboration are the cornerstones of scientific progress. When a new discovery emerges, it is subjected to intense scrutiny, with scientists around the world working to replicate results and confirm or refute the initial findings. Maxwell Chikumbutso's claims of self-powering technology have placed him at odds with this established system of validation. While Chikumbutso has demonstrated his inventions to various individuals and media outlets, believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Monagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He was, he said this earlier today, when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first if soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. 
This is one of Chikumbuto's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle, powered entirely by radio waves. This is the first of its kind in the world. Today, Chikumbuto paid a courtesy call on President Mnangagwa at the State House in Harare, where he presented his latest inventions. I'll switch it on so that you can see. I think you can see the battery. It will start to charge itself. The president said such were testament that Zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions that defy logic. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There is no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world that it is here in Zimbabwe by this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you wouldn't believe it. But when he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some in the old wires. <laughs> <laughs> now it's well connected. All connected. Chikombuzo took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable. Then you can power your house. It is. It gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 308, 320 to 308 newton meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. President Mnangagwa revealed that he was personally supporting Chikumbutswa in his endeavors. The 44-year-old high school dropout was initially offered millions of dollars by the United States of America to stay and continue his work in the country, an offer he refused. The president praised Chikumbutswa's innovation, which include wireless self-powering drones and television sets, among other inventions. He has been reluctant to subject his technology to the rigorous testing and scrutiny demanded by the scientific community. The blueprints for his inventions, he believes, are more valuable than any precious metal, and he is unwilling to risk having his life's work stolen or reverse-engineered by those who seek to profit from his genius. Without access to the inner workings of Chikumbutso's devices, Scientists are unable to independently verify his claims or determine whether his technology truly represents a breakthrough in energy generation. Until he is willing to open up his inventions to independent scrutiny, the scientific community remains skeptical and his claims of revolutionary technology remain firmly in the realm of the unproven. Maxwell Chikumbutso claims to have faced threats and attacks since unveiling his revolutionary technology. He alleges multiple assassination attempts and a poisoning incident that left him hospitalized. These attacks highlight the risks faced by inventors challenging the status quo. History shows many inventors met untimely ends after threatening powerful interests. From early electric cars to alternative energy, the pattern is familiar. Are these isolated incidents or a systemic effort to suppress disruptive technologies? Maxwell Chikumbuzo walks a precarious tightrope, balancing the immense potential of his inventions with the constant threat of theft and suppression. Determined to protect his groundbreaking technology, he has implemented a series of extraordinary security measures that would make even a Bond villain envious. Recognizing that the blueprints for his inventions are the ultimate prize, Chikumbuzo has taken extreme precautions to safeguard them. The exact details remain a closely guarded secret, but rumors abound of state-of-the-art encryption, multiple layers of security, and perhaps even booby traps designed to render the blueprints useless if they fall into the wrong hands. But Chikumbuzo's security measures extend far beyond protecting his intellectual property. He also takes great care to safeguard his physical inventions, conducting tests and demonstrations in undisclosed, heavily secured locations. These locations, shrouded in secrecy, are rumored to be equipped with advanced surveillance systems and guarded by trusted individuals sworn to protect Chikumbuzo and his inventions. In a world hungry for technological advancement, where the lines between innovation and exploitation are often blurred, Protecting groundbreaking inventions requires a fortress mentality. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powering technology could disrupt entire industries and reshape the global economic landscape. Imagine fossil fuels becoming obsolete, their dominance shattered by Chikumbuzo's clean energy source. 
oil and gas giants would face unprecedented challenges as their core products become worthless. The global electricity grid would undergo a seismic shift. Chikumbutso's technology could empower communities to generate their own electricity, leading to energy independence. The question then arises, who stands to benefit and who stands to lose everything? The answers are tangled in geopolitical interests, corporate greed and technological advancement. Maxwell Chikumbutso's claims of self-powering technology challenge our understanding of physics. The laws of thermodynamics state that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Chikumbutso's inventions seem to defy these laws, suggesting our grasp of energy may be incomplete. If true, his technology could rewrite physics textbooks and force a re-evaluation of energy. Some speculate he might tap into unknown energy sources like zero-point energy. Others suggest he manipulates energy at a quantum level. Could this... Zimbabwean inventor revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Only time and rigorous investigation will reveal the truth. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Do Africa really care about Western validations in their technology? No, gone are those days Africa awaits Western nation to lead the way. But the questions his technology raises are too tantalizing to ignore. So what are we to make of Maxwell Chikumbutso and his extraordinary claims? Is he a visionary genius on the cusp of revolutionizing our world, or a cunning charlatan weaving a tapestry of deception? He is certainly genius. As we could hear voice in most video comments that raises concerns about immense hate from the Western community against African inventor, as they brand him a fraudster, even when he hasn't committed any offense. The evidence, as we've seen, is conclusive, glaring and working as demonstrated in this video, even as shrouded in a mix of secrecy, skepticism and the undeniable allure of limitless clean energy. One thing is certain, the human desire for progress, for a future free from the constraints of our current technological limitations, fuels our fascination with individuals like Chikumbutso. Success, on the other hand, attracts hates too. We yearn for breakthroughs, for those... Aha! Moments that shatter our preconceived notions and propel us into a new era of understanding. Whether Chikumbutso's inventions will ultimately stand up to scientific scrutiny remains to be seen is not a concern, as Africa has decided to adopt the technology whether or not the West approved it or not. This event playing out serves as a powerful reminder that the universe is full of mysteries and the West should stop acting like God over everything in face of innovation, and the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end. Chikumbutso's claims have so far has been proven true. The implications are staggering. The West should suit up man up and face their dream of green and renewable energy, as is here better than they expect, or risk facing Nokia effect. Until then, the mystery of Maxwell Chikumbutso unravels in the most lovely way. However, if you found this fact offensive, it's okay. You can go about your way driving your skepticism, Tesla, BYD, Mercedes, Volkswagen range, anxiety plug and pay. While Africa drive their self-powered cars and technology, everybody wins. However, it will be a clearly noted that green and renewable energy is not the goal. As always, I am Dr. Cool. Be sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications and share this video with others. While engaging with me in comment section, tell me what you think. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a flight to catch and a self-powered car to drive.